my honors independent study, I will be working with Dr. John Huckins, a physics professor here at Bloomsburg University. He is working on an experiment that studies the change in behavior of atoms, particularly an atom called rubidium-87, at extremely low temperatures close to absolute zero. The final experiment, when it is conducted, will take only a few seconds and is completely computer generated. When it is conducted, rubidium-87 atoms, which are held at one end of the apparatus called a Zeeman slower, will be released with a velocity towards the opposite end where lasers will be countering their velocity that will slow the atoms down to almost a complete stop. Once they reach the other end of the Zeeman slower, they will be trapped in what is called a magneto-optical trap, or a MOT. Then they will be released from this trap, and after a set amount of time, a CCD image will be taken of this expanding cloud of atoms with a camera called a PCO pixel fly that has the capability to see light that is outside the visible, visible spectrum that can be seen by the human eye. The, the data that is collected from this experiment will be in the form of the CCD images. To analyze them, we will take the individual pixel values of these pictures and they, these pixel values will be fitted to pre-existing models that are appropriate for the specific situation. My role in this research will be processing these images and learning about the atoms as well as the cloud of atoms. So these data and these images will be put into a program called Igor, which processes which is an imaging processing image processing system. Then the data will be set fitted to a mod, a pre-existing model, and we can learn about the atoms as well as the cloud of atoms, parameters such as the velocity and temperature of the cloud of atoms before it is released from the trap, as well as the number of atoms in the cloud and the density distribution of the cloud. We can also learn things, characteristics of the actual trap itself. To learn these things, equations will be used from these pre-existing models. First thing that needs to be calculated is the obstacle depth, which will tell, which will allow us to transform this two-dimensional image to a three-dimensional model, which is more realistic. From there, the optical depth can be used to calculate different parameters, such as the temperature and velocity of the cloud of atoms. During HIS-1, in the spring, from, in the winter from 2015 to 2016, as well as the HIS-2 in the spring of 2016, I'll be working on the image processing of these, the final data. I will be leading that part of the experiment, which is one of the most important parts because that is what takes all the data that we get from the experiment and analyzes it. And that's where the results come from.